So we move from graphing rationals to variation, which is a little bit of review and a little bit of new from Algebra 1. Let's start with direct variation. Okay, so if the statement says y varies directly as x, as you can read in the slide, it means that when x increases, y increases, or they have a constant ratio. So if k is the constant and I were to divide by x, the y over x is the same, always. Uh, there's your equation for direct variation, y equals kx. You'll notice also that that is the equation of a line in slope-intercept form with a y-intercept of zero. Inverse variation, I like thinking of inverse variation as when one increases, the other decreases, or their product remains constant. And lastly, joint variation is where you have a direct variation Here's your y equals kx, but you're varying directly with a product of two terms, so y equals kxw. Now let's look at some application problems that describe each. I'm likely just going to uh, set up most of these because solving is going to be pretty basic, but uh, in a couple we'll solve. And in all these problems, we want to be aware of whether the problem is setting up a two-situation case or a one-situation case. So you can see in this problem, this is a two-situation case. The period of the pendulum varies directly with the square root of the length of the pendulum. And if the pendulum length is 64 centimeters and the period is 1.6 seconds, that's the first situation. What's the period of a pendulum that's one meter long? That's the second situation. So in setting this up, we say the period P varies directly, so that's K with the square root of the length. And this is what I call our first case, so I'll notate that with subscripts 1. And then we also have that there's a second case with a different period and a different length. So I'll notate that with subscripts 2. Notice, I can solve both of these such that they both equal k. And if they both equal that constant, then I can set those two equal each other. So basically what I'm doing is I'm setting up a proportion of period of the first case over the length of the first case equals the period of the second case over the length of the second case, square rooted. All right, and then it's just plug and chug. So the only thing I do want to note is that my lengths are in different units, and I want to make sure they're in the same units. So I'll be conscious of that when I set that up. So in this first situation, I have a length of 64 and a length of 1 meter in the second situation, or 100 centimeters. I'll just put those in the same units. And then I have a period in the first situation of 1.6 seconds and unknown in the second situation. So now it's just a case of cross product and solving. I can simplify a little bit first. I have 1.6 seconds over 8 centimeters. Set that equal to x over 10 centimeters. Do that cross product. I end up with 16 seconds over 8 because the centimeters reduce out or 2 seconds. The next example talks about a direct variation and they ask us to find a variation constant. So this is a singular example problem or singular situation. I know that the volume varies directly with the cube of the diameter, so then I take 288 pi, set that equal to k times 12 cubed, and simply, and the answer will simply be without units because it's constant. Now we talk about an inverse variation, so it says y varies inversely with the square root of x. So I'll just say y root x is equal to k. 
two situation problem. There's situation one and situation two. So I take the y root 12 and that's equal to k and the other k would equal the unknown y and the root 15. Isolate y. And you can pop that into your calculator and get a decimal rounded to two places. So now things get a little wordy. Just make sure you read carefully. Resistance varies inversely. So R varies inversely with the square of the current. And so we read through and it appears to be a two situation problem. So it says if a current of eight amps, 0.8 amps requires a resistance of 50 ohms and then they give us another current of 0.5 what resistance are we going to have again simply take and divide 0.5 squared to both sides, and we get the resistance, which will be in ohms. So here's a problem with a little twist. It appears to be very similar to the last problem. However, it says this varies directly with the length and inversely with the square of the diameter. So there's two variations going in here. This is called a combined variation. In which case we need to write an equation where two variations occur at the same time. So if I want the resistance R to vary directly with the length, there is my direct variation. So to get the second relationship of an inverse relationship with the square of the diameter in, it's got to be inversely related with the resistance at the same time. So inverse would be a multiple with the resistance of the square of the diameter. So here, if you will, is the direct. And here is the inverse. And again, it appears to be a two situation case. What I will do is say d squared r over l is equal to k and then write that proportionally. So to solve this I have a hundred meters of wire that's a length diameter is six and resistance is also six that's going to equal 80 meters and I'm looking for the diameter and I have 15 ohms. So in order to solve this, I'll multiply the by the reciprocal of the second term and then square root. So I have 6 squared, 6, 80 over 100 times 15. And all that will be square rooted to find my diameter which should be in what millimeters. And then we have our joint variation. Remember that is a direct variation with the product. So the volume varies jointly with the height and the square of the radius. And again, they're looking for the constant. So this is a singular term. So I'll have V over H R squared is equal to K. Volume in this case uh, should be 54. That would be cubic centimeters in theory. Right? And then I have a height of 8 centimeters and diameter 4.5. centimeters quantity squared 
is equal to k. And then we just solve that problem from there. So those should be enough examples to get you through the assignment tonight. And uh, we'll talk to you next time.